Celtic had a lot of red cards in this one. Let's see if we can find something to draw up a pile. Nothing yet. I'm playing on a mobile phone app, so I'm going to increase the size of the screen. Uh, but could have some issues with moving the cards around, just to give you a warning. I'm going to save that six as insurance for later. And the reason for that is we want to be able to manage the draw pile, or at least give ourselves a chance. I think there's 24 cards in the draw pile. So being able to move these cards around is kind of important. So six of spades will be our insurance card. And the goal is going to be try to open up one of the columns for the, if we can get a king in there or something, but we'll see. Right now it's just about getting, well, ace of spades will be the next big one. I guess we can play this five two here. That's good because now we can bring down this four diamonds. And maybe we can find something. Maybe not. Not good to see. Well, this is good that this is a, there's a king. The bad news is we don't have anywhere to put it. So a black six would be something we're looking for, which we have is our insurance card. There's two black sixes, actually. So I'm not going to play this yet, but we'll play it probably next time around. I'm wary of bringing down these low cards, though. It's intriguing. Let's play the ace of spades first, and then we'll come back. To that. All right, so now's the time we play. Oh, this two of spades is now our new insurance card. And uh, that'll give us some more options. So we will play the six of spades right now. And hopefully we can open up the column. <coughs> of course, that didn't work. But we're going to keep trying anyway. Uh, Queen of spades we can play. So, two of spades, like I said, is our insurance card. We're going to save that in case we need it. I'm trying to look for other cards in the straw pile to play. There's a red jack. You get red jacks, possibility. So that means we're only going to play one card. I want to play the rest of these. Because like, I think this four could be helpful. Especially with a three there. That's going to be tricky. Yeah, I think we have to play this now. We have to play the four in this spot. Uh, because we can play this black seven and then play the three. So the two can go here. And the black seven will go under the eight. And we can play the six right here. Maybe we can find a shot that way. So we'll see there. Yeah, these ones can be tough, but, I mean, that's kind of the nature of it. So, yeah, I'm going to see what else is in play just before we go to that. I don't want to touch that. All right. Let's go back again. Okay, so black seven. Here we are. We'll play the six there. And I think we're going to play the three, but I want to see what's behind there again. Nine. I'm trying to see if there's any cards we can bring down. So, no. There is a red jack, right? Okay, so we're going to move two cards to get to the red jack, which is important. So, we are playing both cards here. We're playing the three. It's all about managing the draw pile, and it's much easier said than done. Uh, but if one can do that, you can increase your odds. I think, yeah, like I started playing this game on a computer 
and I was at about 17%. And then once I started managing the draw pile and getting good at it, I got my solve rate up to like 42%, which means it was higher than that because we started at 17 over a thousand games. So yeah, managing the draw pile very important. Uh, I'm gonna play. So there is a ten somewhere. There is a ten right here. We're gonna play that instead of the jack ten. So well, actually, I don't know if that makes a difference. Is it? I'm gonna save that ten as an option because then we can get to the king if we need to. We're gonna play the ten of spades. That's gonna be a better play. It may not make a difference at all, but it could. So yeah, so that's the first option. I'm going to see if there's anything else. Oh, the two diamonds we can't really touch. We could. Okay, so yeah, fingers crossed here. I'm hoping... No, we can play the nine as well, can't we? Okay, so we'll get we'll get an open column. So this is gonna be good. Ah, uh, this is gonna be tricky. I think we go. I think this nine of spades has more value, but it's gonna be a close one. Yeah, there's so many kings here. The question is, is there another is there another red eight? We can play the seven. That's an alternative play. Uh, the other option is we go for there. Let me double check here and see if there's no. There is a red eight. Wow. Okay. There's two different ways. I'm going to try to go for that red eight and then play the seven. And then there's the eight of diamonds angle that we can do as well. Uh, I'm going to go for the red eight angle first, though. So this is an alternative play. Uh, we're going to try every single path because this one may or may not have them. Okay, yeah, six five. <coughs> That's probably a dead end in that one. Okay, so that path is a dead end. We're gonna back it up a little bit. Instead of playing an eight. Let me walk us back here. Okay, so this is where we were. We're going to play. We're not playing the Nine of Clubs. I don't think it could be a great play there. All right. I'm going to try all these kings. Well, actually, we played the queen here first, and then we should have two different kings we can play. So let's try and see if we can get anywhere. That's very intriguing. Let's see, Ace of Clubs. Oops, wrong one. <sighs> mobile phone, mobile phone. Sorry about that. You think you got to click down and you don't. Eight of Spades. We'll see where this goes. Ace of Hearts is good to see. That might be the right path. All right, so we know there is a queen under here. Ace of diamonds. Here we go. We'll put the two of clubs here. Now we'll play the three of clubs. This might be... This one's going to be close. All right, that's good to see. I think I'm going to play... We can play either way. I think we'll leave that three of diamonds down below. All right. So again, there's a queen there. But yeah, let's just click on the next one and see. Oh, I gotta move the king of diamond. Oh no, I get a note. Okay. I was thinking we gotta move the, the king of spades down, but we'll be able to do that. Oops, wrong one. Mobile phone, mobile phone. 
I guess we can move it now. That's good. All right, we're gonna get this thing solved. I think. I think. Although I can be overly optimistic on these games. We're close. Oh no, let's see Jack. Yeah, we can play the Jack next time. Around. So yeah, we figured out the right angle on this one, I think. Yes, I miscalced. Okay, so Jack there. Ten, I think we go with a nine. No, we don't, because we want to play the two of hearts. We gotta be able to play the two of hearts. So. Now we're gonna play everything else. The two of hearts was like a very critical card in getting this, because now we can move other stuff around here. I think I'll just click on these. Let's see, clubs, spades, spades. Trying to get to the seven there. Let's shift the six over here. Seven of spades up top. Now we can move the seven of clubs here. And here we have it. That one done. That's a tough one. But usually can be. And, of course, that's going to wrap this up. If you're looking for more Solitaire, I will try to drop a link in the description below for a couple playlists on that. Anyway, thanks for watching, and good luck.